Hey everyone, Vish here. I just wanted to do a quick PowerDirector tutorial to talk about something that took me a lot longer than I would have liked to actually figure out. Any PowerDirector users out there that already know this trick, awesome. I'm just hoping to save some time for anyone that might not know this. You know, the ideal output for videos in order to upload them online is, you know, especially if you want to do HD videos, not standard format, is 1280 by 720 in MP4. And when I did some of our first clips in the newest version, actually that's why I picked up the newest version was because of the HD uh, capability. I was actually surprised when I tried to produce the videos that there was no MP4 format in 1280 by 720. And I was kind of scratching my head going, how could this be? Like, like, you know, did they overlook something or, you know, what's going on over here? So I went digging and I searched a few sites and I, and, and I really stumbled on the forums at Cyberlink and I had to dig a little bit and I actually found my answer. Uh, which is that no, you cannot actually output a 1280 by 720 MP4 in Video Director, which is kind of still surprises me. Uh, I think I read some things. It could be some licensing issues or just something like that. If anyone knows why, I mean, leave a comment. I'm, I'm really curious to know. But the good news is there's actually a workaround, and it's a really easy workaround. And I've tested it out now for all the videos that we've uploaded for Vishnasha and, and videos we've uploaded on some other YouTube channels, and it works really great. And you know, it delivers the desired outcome with a little just quick tip trick that you need to do so it's really easy you know as you can see I'm in PowerDirector now um, you know I have just one of the old clips I was working on right here so when you're done with your clip and you're happy with it, your final cut you just hit produce and you'll notice that we'll ignore all these other options and go straight to mp4 mpeg4 and you notice there's an iPod option and if you click the settings, you'll see that the size is 640 by 360, which is not the size that we want. Though I do prefer this size ideally for any videos that we host ourselves and that we serve from Amazon S3 on for you know just videos that we might not put up on YouTube or Vimeo or any of the uh, video hubs or video sites. I prefer this size. Again, to upload HD video on YouTube specifically, you want 1280 by 720. And if you click any of the other options here, there's just absolutely no option that allows for the desired output. And even the PSP MPEG-4 AVC format is 480 by 270. I'm actually just going to cut to the chase real quick and just give you the tip. Uh, it's really simple. You just have to go into MPEG-4, go into profile type, and pick mobile phone. So under mobile phone, you have one profile name, which is mobile high vision cam Wu. Yes, I know it's a bit of an odd name and you're probably wondering what does it have to do with what I need to, you know, the MP4 I'm looking for. But essentially this is the format that you want to output your video in. And if you look down here, you'll see that the output file is actually going to be a 3G2 file and not an MP4 file. So all you have to do is pick the, you know, folder where you want to save your file. Where we are going to actually save the file as a 3G2 file, which is perfectly fine. And you just start the process. Okay, so we're back and the video is, you know, has finished rendering and the production is complete as you can see from this very nice happy green check mark. So we're going to go into the output folder and you'll notice that there is a 3G2 file in here. So all you have to do now is go into the file, change the extension 3G2 and change it to MP4. It's going to ask you if you want to change it, you know, at risk of the file becoming unusable. You just say yes, that's fine. We all know what we're doing, you know what you're doing, so, and that's it. You actually have a video file that is 1280 by 720, and it's an MP4 file, and it's ready to upload. You just upload it to YouTube, and you're going to get an HD video up, pretty much. And uh, it's pretty easy, as you can see, pretty simple. You just save your video files as 3G2, pick the right profile, and then rename it to MP4. It's a little bit of a funny workaround, but it does work, and I'm just really happy with it. Hopefully, it saves you a lot of time figuring this one out if you haven't already. Again, if you're interested in PowerDirector, of course, we have related links down below. Also, I strongly urge you to visit the Vishnasha blog and subscribe to our free newsletter. We're going to send you a copy of both of our ebooks. Okay, that just about wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.